you're listening to the fine fine ampli tank tank tree now that is a mouthful but this is a well-deserved name for this microphone because the very first impression that you get or at least the one that i got as soon as i opened it and took it out of the box was this microphone really is built like a tank it is 90 something percent made out of metal it is almost entirely made out of metal of course with certain exceptions such as the bottom and you know, other you know minor details but it has a really slick look that i really really like it is a dynamic microphone and it does connect via usb but it also has the option to collect to connect via xlr cables more on that a little bit later now it has a very sleek i don't know what you call this but the, the way it attaches to your boom arm it is uh, like the arm type thing where you can also adjust the position of the microphone it is really sleek it goes only to one side so it looks really cool and it, of course it is also made out of metal now the very thread in here it supports both the 5 8 and the 5 8 and the 3 something it has two sizes of the threads so i'm going to just you know put the text over here for whatever threads they are but uh it is very unlikely that you will need to use an extra adapter at least on my boom arm it did support the the smaller thread that it had so i think it's 3 8. anyway how do you like the sound quality of this microphone this is very good especially through usb connection well not especially actually you do have the option like I said, to connect it via XLR. And this is great because if you want to start with a microphone and you do not have a audio interface, then you can use this and use the USB connection, which has certain advantages over the XLR. Now the XLR has other advantages, and those are that you can use it with an audio interface and you have some more control over the audio engineering aspect of the sound. So if you want to get a little bit more advanced and you want to upgrade to an audio interface, you can still use this microphone. And you know, if you're going one step at a time, then you know, buy the microphone first, use it through USB, then add an audio interface and use that through XLR. And then you can upgrade to a higher end microphone if you need to. Not that I'm actually expecting you to need another microphone after this. Of course, you know, there are tastes and whatever. When you use this microphone through a USB connection, there are certain advantages. One is that you have more functions on board of the microphone, such as the mute button, which you can hear me. Of course, you do kind of hear the click, so that's a little bit unfortunate. I would kind of like it to be capacitive, but you know, it is what it is. At this affordable price range, I think we can appreciate the fact that it does include a, U, uh, a USB, uh, mute button that works only through the USB connection. If you connect this through XLR, it will not work. And the same goes for the knobs. There is a knob for the audio monitoring, and which is this one, and then another knob for the gain control, which is this one. By the way, I have everything on max, so this is the max gain that you can get with this microphone. I did also increase the volume a little bit in post, but you know, that's... Uh, uh, I kind of digress there. Anyway, these controls, the knobs and the and the mute button only work via USB connection. So there's that little caveat. But uh, it's kind of expected at the same time because when you use a typical microphone via XLR, whether it's a condenser microphone or a dynamic microphone like this is, then you control absolutely everything through your audio interface. So I don't think that's a con or a negative in any way, shape or form with this microphone. Another advantage that this microphone in particular has is the fact that you can record via USB and XLR at the same time. Now, I'm not showing off that little feature in this case because the XLR cable that I have is low quality and it does allow for some interference when using both connections at the same time. So I thought I would just show you the USB connection, which in my opinion is actually pretty good. It does provide really good sound quality as you can hear. So if you're looking for an entry level microphone that's affordable, that's uh, performing a little bit better than an, you know, a cheap entry level microphone, then you will really appreciate this tank tree. You will also appreciate the looks of it. You will appreciate the build, which is well deserving of the name tank. It's built like a tank. So one thing that I almost forgot to mention about the tank tree is that it supports audio monitoring 
And the DAC that powers your headphones is actually pretty good because I am able to drive the Sennheiser HD 6XX, which are 300 ohm headphones. And that basically means that they are very, very hard to drive. So I can listen to myself in a very comfortable level. They are not super loud with these headphones, but they will work super well with, you know, your regular headphones that you might use that, you know, the standard is a 32 ohm headphones that that's most of the headphones are at that range. So they will power, power those headphones really, really well. These are able to power this adequately well. Like I said, I do have it at the maximum volume and it is very comfortable to me. I do not need to have it louder, at least that's uh, my use case. And again, it, the computer will recognize this as a sound device so you can listen to your music, to your computer sounds. All you can do, uh, you can listen through it through the headphones when connected to that microphone. So this is kind of an all around solution to you needing a microphone as well as an, you know, a sound device so that you can still listen to everything your computer does without, you know, having more than one device. So again, great for starting. I hope that you found this video helpful and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, may God bless.